I mean, talking about lifestyle, what affects us a lot is um, stress in our life. And stress causes also something, a release of cortisol. Uh, so what uh, what is this and uh, what kind of effect has it on our body? When is it healthy and when is it too much and, and causes uh, problems? So, for example, the cortisol, the maximum peak, it's in the morning and then it goes lower at night. So it's a hormone secreted by our suprarenals just above the kidneys. Mm. And it's true that the suprarenals, they are... Uh, they are stimulated by stress. Mm -hmm. When we are exposed to stress, we we'll use cortisol, as if we were pursued by a tiger behind us, mm -hmm. and we had to run. And the cortisol will like kind of protect to inflammation and this and that. But the problem is, when this cortisol is released in a constant, constant, mm -hmm. constant way, and then it has an impact on ourselves. It, it gives us, it could like trigger anxiety and put us in a, a constant anxiety mode as if we had the tiger always behind us. So what happened with the cortisol level, it can be measured in blood, it can be measured in saliva, in saliva tests. Mm -hmm. In saliva tests, it would be four times a day to see what is the rate, if we are in the good ranges or not. In blood also, because normally we, we do it here at the balance in the morning. And... It helps us to see uh, how is the cortisol level in the morning. And from that also, we know also uh, what are the stress level of the per person. Is he, going, is he dealing with a lot of stress or not? Mm -hmm. And you know, some person, they can come to us and they think they are not so stressful and they have cortisol to the roof. Yes. So this is a very good indicator to be objectivized, to say, yes, your stress, your, your, your body is feeling stress. We can... Mm -hmm see it in an objective way in a blood test.